So in this first video I'm gonna show how to make a new chat application where you can create chat rooms, different chat rooms and also private chat rooms with some specific users where you can chat only with that person that you met on the app so first thing we are gonna go to the menu screen in the menu screen I'm gonna show you how the menu is set it has the login create account and create chat rooms button so first thing we're gonna do is to create the chat room screen so I'm gonna put this as zero here we are gonna get and create a new screen I'm gonna call it create chat rooms I'm gonna copy it in the menu on the blocks part we're gonna get the button create chat rooms we're gonna go and set this to the new screen that you we just created so it's open another screen screen name create chat rooms so in the create chat rooms we are gonna need the firebase component here we're gonna need two buttons the first button is to create chat rooms so create chat rooms gonna put the with us few parent the color light blue font bold and the text color to white the second one is gonna be create private chat rooms font bold this size is gonna be 20 I'm gonna put the color as yellow and the width as fill parent I'm gonna put a label to make some space between the buttons So I'm gonna put the height just 20 pixels. No text. Now we're gonna need two layouts, a vertical arrangement that is gonna be chat rooms fill parent for height and width and background none and also a new vertical arrangement for the private chat rooms so fill parent so this one is private chat rooms in the background color none 
so first the private chat room is gonna be invisible also the chat room it's gonna be invisible but to put the user interface things we're gonna need to set this as visible for now what we're gonna need is a text box and a button to save so this text box here is the name of the chat room so enter the name of the new chat room gonna put the with as 80% and the color light gray this button here is gonna save the chat room so save chat room I'm gonna put the text as save font bold 16 font size and uh, the color light blue we also gonna need a notifier so let's put this thing here we can also put another button to go back to close this vertical arrangement when you don't need to create the chat room so it's gonna be the return button return I'm gonna put this red font bold and 16 font size so we're gonna set this as invisible on the private chat rooms we're gonna do on the next video so I'm not gonna do anything now so it's gonna be invisible now in the part of the blocks when it's back pressed you're gonna close the screen when this thing initialize you're gonna sh set the chat room visibility to false and also the private chat room visibility to false so we're gonna go in the logic parts grab the false and also false to the second one now when we click on the button create chat room we're gonna set the visibility to the chat room arrangement to true and the private to false the second button is the button private chat room so the button private chat room when it's clicked we're gonna set the chat room arrangement to false and the private chat room arrangement to true so the button return in the chat rooms arrangement it's gonna set also this two as false so it's gonna put invisibility to 
private chat rooms and chat rooms arrangement so now the save chat room button we're gonna grab a if statement we're gonna check if it's empty the text box name of the chat room so grab this text here we're gonna set the notifier show alert enter a name for the chat room we're gonna need a new if statement in the firebase you're gonna grab the project bucket we are gonna grab the tag list event and also the get tag list these two here are gonna go to the initialize block the project button is gonna be chat rooms when we get the tag list of all the chat rooms that are saved on the database on the firebase project we're gonna get the firebase tag list event and we're gonna create a variable so it's gonna be list of chats gonna be a empty list we're gonna grab this thing here and set the value so we have the list of all chats created in here in the save chat room button we're gonna get the using list thing the list is gonna be the variable that we just created the list of chats and the thing is gonna be the name of the chat room text if he founds a chat room with this name that we you the person is trying to create it's gonna give an alert saying that the chat room is already created so pick another name because this chat already exists so in the else part we are gonna save the new chat room on the firebase so it's gonna be the store value the tag is gonna be the name of the chat room text and the value to store is gonna be nothing for now or you can set a message like uh, enter the first message you can put an uh, alert here saying that we just created the chat room so the chat room is created and uh, we're gonna close the screen when it's done So when we save the chat room, it's going to save show this alert here and also close the screen. 
so this is it for the creation of the chat room of course you need to set your own Firebase token and Firebase URL for the project you need and um, I just noticed that nowadays when you first use the new project you need to be with the project open on your browser so it can save the first um, data on your Firebase project so I'm gonna create a new project here it's gonna be the new chat rooms new chat app it's gonna be Brazil I'm gonna accept it this create project So in the database, you're going to create a new database real time. You're gonna set to mode test, activate. So when you first create the the chat room, you need to set the your browser open with this page here so it's gonna recognize that you are saving the first chat room after you save the first chat room it's or the first data on your firebase you don't need to open this page again so for this video is this uh, on the second video we're gonna save the we're gonna create the chat room screen and uh, we are gonna go and test the first chat room, first chat room application after that we can create the private chat rooms we can create the login system we are gonna create a make friend sh uh, system so you can add your friends to the private chat room and also the screen with the private chat between users so this is it